SpaceX Starship, the world's biggest rocket, has exploded minutes after blasting off on its first test flights and crashed into the Gulf of Mexico. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. So what kind of rocket SpaceX Starship is? And why did it journey and did it in the mid-air explosion? SpaceX Starship spacecraft and the super-heavy rocket it collectively refer to as Starship represent a reusable transportation system designed to carry base crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon or even to Mars and beyond. It's currently the world's biggest rocket which 120 meters high with a diameter of 9 meters. It can carry up to 150 metric tons fully reusable and 250 metric tons expendable. But why did an explosion happen during its test flight? This Raptor engine used by this uh, uh, Starship uh, is still, uh, uh, relatively speaking, uh, the thrust is a little bit small, only mm -hmm. about 200 tons or so. Mm -hmm. So we can understand why the SpaceX uh, don't have other choices but use so many engines mm -hmm. on the first stage, mm -hmm. 33 engines on the first stage and also the other two on the second stage or the Starship. Okay. Uh, but you know, although it used uh, the same engines, although two different versions, uh, still the, uh, the, um, the, the Starship is a very, very complex uh, launch vehicle. You know, the, the, the bigger it is, the more complex it is. And the more complex it is, it is more likely, more possible to have any uh, failure and okay. also error. Elon Musk's company plans to use Starship to send people and cargo to the moon and eventually to Mars. As Musk's ultimate goal is much bigger, eventually the billionaire has said he aimed to build 1,000 Starships to fly 100,000 people to Mars per year and build a city there and make human beings the first multiplanetary species in Earth's history. But experts at the Space Transportation Committee of the International Astronautical Federation has a different idea. So what's your take on Elon Musk's Mars colonization program? That is ridiculous. We can continue. First, we, uh, we, we discuss about the transportation. You know that when you are on the lower orbit, uh, I mean the uh, ISS or our Tiangong space station, at any circumstance, if anything dangerous happened, you can go back to the Earth at any moment. But when you go to Max, if anything dangerous happened, you can do nothing but to wait. And moreover, you see that to land on the Mars, you see that for the Starship, it cannot go first into the circum Mars orbit because only a limited propellant inside. So the only choice for it is to go directly dive into the atmosphere of Mars. So the, the choice of the landing site is lim limited. And you know that the basic logic for Elon Musk is that they will use the water and uh, carbon oxide to produce methane and the liquid oxygen on the Martian surface and then go back to the Earth. Where is the water? Indeed. Most of the water on the Martian surface are in ice form in the I mean, polar areas, yes. in, the, uh, in the South Pole and the North Pole. But as I mentioned, the landing site, it is quite difficult to land in these polar areas for the Starship. So uh, uh, to use the uh, Starship to go back to the Earth, I believe this cannot be achieved within 20 or 30 years. But experts say the Starship still serves as a pioneer for human exploration across outer space. He believes that anything is possible if humans work to leave lasting footprints on Mars and beyond. <laughs>